Hi Flosstube, it's Angie and I'm back for video number four. I'm gonna start my video with a giant thank you. I have gotten so many really fun, nice, sweet, positive, uplifting, all of the good words comments on my past few videos and it's been really fun to read through them. It's kind of been a highlight of each day. I'll go through in the morning and just kind of see what comments I've gotten and then I get to go and answer them. I've had a little mini conversations with a few of you and that's been a lot of fun. I don't, I talk to my kids. <laughs> We've all been kind of put in that position where we don't get a lot of adult interaction, but I really don't get a lot of adult interaction. I text a lot of people and I talk to my mom on the phone. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's been nice to chat with, with a lot of you. So I'm super grateful for all the comments. Keep them coming. It's been a lot of fun. I'm kind of blown away by the amount of subscribers I've gotten. It kind of caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting quite the influx, but I'm grateful and I love it. So I hope that I can continue to be enjoyable for you. And I got my first shout out, which was really, it's kind of surreal. I was watching Flosstube and I'd been chatting with this, this lady through the comments and I found that she had a floss tube channel. So I went and I started watching it and my son was playing games on the floor and and she said, oh, and there's this new floss tuber, Angie Stokes. And my son stops and looks up at me and said, that's your name. <laughs> yes, yes it is. I haven't exactly told my kids that I'm doing floss tube because this is kind of just a for me thing. I wasn't, you know, thinking, hey kids, go look at me on TV or phones or whatever. So that was kind of fun. <laughs> so, but uh, it was Kim Hollenbach and thank you so much for the shout out and I've enjoyed your videos as well. So I'm excited to continue watching. But I guess let's just go ahead and get started because there's not a whole lot else to talk about. If you hear any loud noises, we are having the most wonderful weather today. I'm gonna to insert some clips of, of my afternoon for you uh, here at the end probably, because it's been, it's been quite the day. <laughs> Texas is trying to say goodbye in a really good way. First, I'm gonna show off my first fully finished object, my first FFO, and I'm really excited because my friend is getting married tomorrow, and this is my first mania finish of Stitch Mania. So this is the family tree that I got off of Etsy. I believe it's from Nikki Patterns. <clears throat> it's, it's referenced in um, my first video, so there should be even, I think, a link in the description to where I got this, if not at least the name on Etsy. So I, I finished it. It's not a fancy finish. I didn't go lacing up the back or anything. It's kind of just put in the frame with a backer board behind it, so. I hope it doesn't fall apart on her. It's it's in there nice and snug, but this is just an 11 by 11 frame I found at Hobby Lobby that just happened to be on sale. So win-win, right? I think it looks fantastic. I'm really glad I did this on the Black Ada. It was a bit of a challenge. I found that with Black Ada, my eyes just don't, and, and I hear this a lot, it's just really hard to, to see where the holes are. And so I had my little octopus lights. It, well, it's a reading light, but and it has two little reading heads. So I had one facing down and one facing behind. So I had the bright light shining through the, <laughs> shining through the, the fabric. I have a kid standing outside my door. <laughs> Hold on. All right, crisis averted. I have a, have a young child that's terrified of weather. And today has been a bad weather day. So the thunder keeps rumbling and he's, he's very scared. And <laughs> this is the kid who says he wants to be a meteorologist when he grows up. <laughs> but anyway, so this is, you can see the floss tube reflection in my TV. <laughs> this is my first fully finished object since discovering the wonderful world of floss tube and my first ever Stitch Mania finish in my first ever Stitch Mania. So lots of firsts tonight. 
say that fast. Anyway, so that is that. Next up, we're gonna do progress. I'm gonna go ahead and start with Spock because I think I always start with Spock. If I can find a picture of what it looked like the last time you saw it, I will show you. I did not get a whole lot of work done on this this week. Um, I did work on it a lot, but I just, I, I had a couple days where I just wasn't feeling really well. I think feeling stress will do that to you. So I did get some stuff done. So I finished all of the arm stuff here. I mean, it doesn't look like a lot, but that's, that's a good couple, like 300 stitches in there. And then of course I finished Live Long and Prosper because I think I only had Live done. So I got all the words done. I've got a little bit more flourish and half of that. But at that point I just had a headache. I just wasn't feeling tip top. I haven't been sleeping super well because again, a little bit stressed out. We're trying to get a house and every house that we're working on is falling through and we're kind of running out of options, which is frustrating. Anyway, so we've got that much going for Spock. And again, I mean, most of this stuff, I've got one more big set of words and then I've got this big bad boy here and I think there's one up here and the rest are little dinky things like this. So this should not take me too much longer and I've made such a good amount of progress that even if I, I don't expect to have the project finished by the end of Mania, but I have no doubt it will be done by Christmas. So that's my Star Trek. And yeah, I think, I think I've done pretty well on that one. All right, next up is Let's Bake. So again, if I have a previous picture, I will insert that here. But Let's Bake, I got a lot of progress done. If I remember correctly, I just had the start of the word measure done when I showed this to you guys last time. So I have completed the entire bowl. I think in this bowl, there's like a little curly cue right here that I haven't done and I don't think I'm going to do. I think this looks fantastic the way it is. I altered where some of the colors were so that it looked a little bit more random. And then with the handle, instead of the handle red, I just did it this color and I didn't add the words. It had the words yummy, yummy, yummy in here. And I thought that looked kind of weird because they were, you'd have to read them backward. And it just, I don't know, I didn't like the way it looked. So I altered it and that's fine because again, stitch what you want, the way you want, when you want. I think I heard Bendy Stitchy say it, sweet wee. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I'm gonna say that all the time now. So now I just have to move everything over in my Q-snap and I have no doubt that by the end of this week, unless something really bad happens or crazy, by the end of this week, I should have the rest of this done because this is a great mindless thing to watch. Um, I finished most of this while watching Stranger Things with my son last night, Stranger Things. And so that was fun. No, I'm wrong. I didn't watch Stranger Things. I went through the first, or not the first, but the three seasons of Avatar. <laughs> I binged Avatar, The Last Airbender, because that's an awesome show. So anyway, a little up close version of Let's Bake, and I think it looks fantastic. And I'm so excited. So that one should be done by the end of Mania. The last Mania project I had, sorry, dog hair. Have a black dog, you're gonna get dog hair on everything. Is my Harry Potter pillow sampler. It, it doesn't look like a whole lot of part. I mean, okay, so it looks like a decent amount of progress, but each of these is about 280 stitches. So I finished this, added the key, started the, started the flag, started the words, got Ronan and Harry, Hermione will go over here. And then the rest, the flags are the hard one. The flags are beasts. They are just hundreds of stitches in each flag. And then in the pattern, each flag has a different design on the bottom. And I think I'm just gonna standardize it so they all have the same design. So they all look the same, just with the different 
letters and mascots in them. So not bad. And then just the border left to do and all that fun. And I am almost out of my DMC uh, junk, <laughs> sparkle junk. But then I found another baggie of it this morning. So I have plenty to finish the pattern with. So this is my Harry Potter pillow sampler. And it is not even close to done, but it will be done by Christmas. I don't have any doubt about that. So I'm gonna work on it again tonight. That is the end of my during the week mania starts. And if you have not seen my other videos during the week, I am stitching only on the projects that I'm giving away as gifts for Christmas. And then on the weekends, if I've made enough progress during the week, I will give myself permission to start something new. I don't have a lot of whips, so I, I'm excited to start new things. So this week, my start was my Mirabilia. And I love her. And before I show her to you, because I'm just the suspense. I'm creating suspense. It is an artistic choice. But no, I I wasn't feeling I've just I've had a bad headache this whole week and so I really wasn't feeling it on Friday. And so the kids and I decided we were gonna have kind of an Avengers marathon. It started with Thor Ragnarok, which is just hilarious, and it just got me in an Avengers mood. So then we just jumped. We started watching Avengers and Age of Ultron. You get where I'm going with this. And so I decided if I'm gonna be watching movies, I might as well be stitching. Even though I just, my head hurt, I just wasn't feeling it. And so it took me about a good 50 to 75 stitches before I really decided I, I liked this. Part of it was the fabric because it was dark, dark fabric. It's not as bad as the black. I, I found I was able to fair, see it fairly easy, fairly easily. But the weave is really uneven in this, so there were some. There was a lot of unpicking that I had to do. I think what it is is this kind of linen. I've stitched on it before, not this particular brand, but similar feel. It's very loose. So when I started stitching Wacky Witches, which I haven't shown you yet because I'm waiting to fully finish it, but when I started stitching that, the the fabric was really loose, and I found it really. It, it felt slippery, it felt loose, it felt like if I didn't tug hard enough, the stitches were loose, but if I tugged too hard, the stitches were too close together and it made them feel uneven. So it wasn't my favorite linen to work on. Whereas Star Trek, the linen is very taut. It feels very, it, it feels stiffer. And I, I imagine that's the difference between Belfast and um, Edinburgh and you know all those and Cashel. I, I imagine that that's just kind of the difference between those. I'm I'm just not as experienced with those yet. So this one was I, it was a struggle at the start because it felt very similar. It felt very loose and slippery. But once I got the Q snap positioned correctly, and I really got started, <laughs> I couldn't stop. So this is <laughs> Stargazer. By Mirabilia. <laughs> She's got close to 2,000 stitches on her <laughs> because I couldn't stop. And <laughs> I mean, can you blame me? Look at how beautiful she is. She's just, I think it works. I was a little bit worried because her skirt colors kind of look similar to this, but as I was going, there's enough of the light, and, it, and even with this, it's a light bluish purple. So it does, it still stands out. It doesn't blend completely. I think if it was all this color here, it would blend in. But there's still, a lot of this is blank. A lot of this is fabric seeping through because it's where the beads are supposed to go. But isn't she beautiful? Oh my goodness, I stitched on her and I could not put her down. And I think it was close to three in the morning before I finally decided to go to sleep. <laughs> and then I just picked her right back up the next morning until I had to stop stitching to, you know, adult and parent and be a good mother, <laughs> which is sometimes hard when you just want to keep going. <laughs> but she's beautiful. I am so excited to continue with her. And 
when the movers come, we're gonna be living in our house for about a week and a half after they've packed all of our stuff up, so I will have nothing better to do than stitch on all of these wonderful projects. So I should have lots of progress in the future, right? <laughs> anyway, so this is, uh, I love it. I love it, I love it. It was a lot of fun. I ordered the beads and everything a few days ago, so I really hope they get here before we leave so that I can start, because I, I, I just can't imagine not getting far enough that I could maybe try beading some of it. I don't know, I hear some people like to bead as they go, some people wait till the end to bead. I haven't decided, I just wanna make sure I have them so that when I do finish, I can get started on that. So, Stargazer by Mirabilia on 32 Count Gothic by Picture This Plus. And she is gorgeous. So that is all of the stuff that I have worked on this week. I think I've done a pretty good job. I think it works out. So tomorrow being Saturday, I technically can start something new. I don't think I'm going to. I I am at, I wanna say eight, eight whips right now. I'm, I think it's eight whips if I don't count Northern Lights because I'm not working on Northern Lights and I don't know if I'm going to start working on that again for a while. It's really, really pretty. I'm just still kind of mad at it and I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do. So I think I'm at eight whips and I think right now for where I'm at in life, for where I'm at with my comfort level with all of this fun stitching, I think I am kind of at the top of my limit. I'm a little probably um, different than some of the other floss tubers just because I don't, I don't like the idea of having a large number of whips. I get a little anxious when I have too many things that are unfinished. If I have a lot of projects that are just partially done, I start to get this really tense feeling of I'm never going to finish or I won't have enough time to finish and I really don't want I it, it's it's a real thing it's a real struggle sometimes because I'll be working on stuff and I'll have to stop to work on something else and then I'll start feeling like I'm running out of time that I'm I, I won't have the ability to finish what I've started or to be able to enjoy what I've started and I don't know I don't know where that comes from but it's, I'm starting to get there with this. I will start working on things and I'll be dreaming of the next thing I wanna buy and then I'll start to get really anxious and feel like I don't have time. I don't, I can't, I won't be able to finish these. I won't be able to accomplish all of this. And I think the more I have going on, the more I feel that way. So I wanna try to keep my whip number low for now. That does not mean, however, that I will not have plenty of patterns available to start. <laughs> because if they're not started, I can't feel anxious about them. If they're just sitting in my to-do eventually pile, it's not a big deal. I don't know why. My brain is a little bit funny sometimes. I don't understand it. Don't ask. Or don't ask me. I don't, I don't, I don't know me any better. <laughs> I don't know if any of this even makes sense. It's late, I'm a little bit tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. So I have my Rovuses of Provence Mirabilia, which I fully thought I was gonna start this month, but Stargazer stole the spotlight and I'm not mad about it. So Roses of Provence is ready to go. I've got all of the beads, I've got all of the threads, I've got the fabric, it's ready to go. I just, I'm just not ready to start her yet. It'll, it'll happen probably when I finish Stargazer. I'll probably get started on her, unless another Mirabilia takes her place because thanks to Virtual Stitchers, I now just have to go and order Garden Prelude, which is really funny because that's been in my wish list for forever. And I believe it's called Garden Prelude. I know Prelude is in it, but it's the Mirabilia with the lady playing the violin and my daughter plays the violin and it just works. So I've been wanting to buy and stitch that one for a long time. I just haven't done it yet. 
and then Virtual Stitchers said that they were gonna do a birthday sale with that pattern. And I thought to myself, I'm part of Virtual Stitchers. I can join in on this sale. Yay. <laughs> so I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and order that one. And uh, but that one's not starting right away. And then I did have a commenter say that they were either starting or going to start Stargazer and thought it would be fun to do a sale. So I say, hey, if you have Stargazer and you wanna stitch along with me, let's do it. Let's have a Stargazer stitch along. We can even call it Stargazer 2020 sale. Why not? Stitch what you want, right? So I, anyway, so I have, I have Roses of Provence. I have three new long dog samplers that I purchased because I just couldn't help myself. So I picked up The Love of Two Hearts, Game of Swans, and um, Count Your Blessings, which are all really, really pretty, and I'm excited, and I might have fabric coming for Game of, Game of Swans, and I might have already purchased all the threads for Game of Swans. So when Let's Bake is finished, I might have to start Game of Swans. So if you see that in the future, it's, I, I had no choice because it called to me, much like Pavan called to me. <laughs> I also have a bin right here that is filled with patterns that I have purchased off Etsy or some other places that are yet to be started, but will get started as I finish these. And I will show you these patterns, not today, but very soon. I'm, I'm gonna actually do a video of all the patterns that I have, and then I'm gonna do a video of all the projects I've done in the past and schedule those so that while I am moving, I can still get some video out without feeling an overwhelming or, or an overwhelming pressure to film while I'm traveling. So that's gonna happen. And yeah, <laughs> that's it, you guys, that's it. I don't have much else to add. I am gonna add a few clips and some other video. So first, any um, eagle-eyed viewers might notice that I've got some extra goodies on my table, so I have some clips of that. And then we have had a crazy weather day. It started off beautiful and sunny. It ended up with a tornado about 12 miles from us and the sirens going off multiple times and me and the kids running into our shelter multiple times and with hail, that was extremely large, destroying some of my outdoor furniture. I wanna say smaller than a baseball, but not by much. <laughs> and I've never seen hail this big before, so I'm going to insert some fun video clips and pictures of all of this excitement. And yes, thankfully, as far as I'm aware, nobody has been injured by the tornado. It hit just outside of Burke Burnett Texas and we are just a little bit south of them so not not far and yeah it was it was a lot of fun it, it was a good day Texas is saying goodbye like I said it's saying farewell Angie we know you love weather I actually do I love weather when we lived in Okinawa my favorite days were the days when the typhoons would come but that's because we lived in cement bunkers and I knew it wouldn't hurt me <laughs> tornadoes are different but Anyway, anyway, I'm sorry. I'm, it's late. I have not been sleeping well, so I'm a little bit kooky right now. I just want to say thanks for coming back and, and watching my video. I love it. I'm excited to continue doing this. It's really, really fun. I, I'm, I'm having a blast. So I hope that if you enjoyed my video, you'll leave a comment. I hope you'll say hi. I hope you come back. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and end it here before I, I start being any sillier or fall asleep on video because I kind of feel like I might. And I will, I will talk to you later, so bye.
So my mom sent me some money for, for Amazon for Mother's Day, told me to buy something for fun for myself. So I did. So now I have the Witch King and the Witch King on his beast. I've got Frodo. I've got Gandalf on the eagle. I got my little eyeball guy from Nightmare to go with all my other little Nightmare dudes here. And then if we came up here, that's what I already had, all those. And then I got my little witch friend to go with the rest of my, my favorite little collections.